Today I'm going to show you how to make porcupine meatballs in the Instant Pot. Hey again everybody. So today we're going to make porcupine meatballs. This is something growing up my mom would make all the time and it's been a really long time since I've made it. I found a recipe on how to make these in the instant pot so I wanted to try that out tonight and as always I will link the recipe I'm using in the description box below if you want to check that out. So let's talk about the ingredients we're going to use. We're going to need a ground beef, rice, tomato sauce, garlic it calls for i think two garlic cloves i've been using this it's a garlic paste and it's working out really well salt black pepper worcestershire sauce an onion and water so let's get started so the first thing we want to do is we're going to saute our onions and garlic the recipe calls for one medium onion i'm going to do things a little differently the sauce part takes half of the onion and then half the other half of the onion will be putting in the meatballs i have a little bit of yellow onion left over from before another recipe so i'm going to actually use this in the sauce and i cut up half of a purple onion here to use inside the meatball so let's get our onions in i've already put some ghee in there and it's been heating up on saute mode now this garlic paste one teaspoon of this is equal to about one medium clove this recipe calls for two cloves of garlic one's going to be in the sauce and the other in the meatball so i'm just going to eyeball it and put about a teaspoon of this in there that looks good and we are just going to mix this together and saute this until our onions are translucent all right guys our onions are getting good and done so we're going to go on to our next step the next step we're going to do is we're going to add our tomato sauce water and worcestershire sauce so this calls for a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and i still have it on saute mode because we're going to get this warmed up next we're going to add a half a cup of water lastly to the sauce we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce that should give that a good flavor so we're going to just stir this up we're going to let this warm until it comes to a simmer now while that's simmering we're going to go ahead and assemble and make our meatballs so to mix up our meatballs what we're going to need to do is we're going to take our ground beef and put that into our bowl here we're going to add our half a cup of rice i'm using a brown basmati rice you can use whatever kind of rice you like it calls for just a long grain rice a half a teaspoon of black pepper a whole teaspoon of salt and i just use the himalayan pink salt we're going to add the other half of our onion, or in my case, the half of the purple onion I chopped up. And then the other garlic clove, and I'm going to just use about a teaspoon of my garlic paste. And we're going to mix this all together. Now the easiest way to do it is the old-fashioned way, and use your hand. So let's get it all mixed up. all right guys so i've got our meatball mixture all nice and mixed up the next thing we need to do is form our meatballs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray my hands with a little bit of coconut oil just to kind of keep the meat mixture from sticking so much and we're going to make about a one to one and a half inch meatballs so we'll just take a little bit of the meat mixture and roll those up into little meatballs All right, so I've got all of our meatballs made. These are probably a little bit bigger than an inch to an inch and a half, but I it like makes. <laughs> you like big meatballs? I like big meatballs. <laughs> but it, it gave me about eight meatballs. Our sauce here came to a simmer. I just turned it off. Next step we're going to do is we're going to add our meatballs right into the sauce. So be careful doing that, that you don't burn yourself and get your fingers stuck in the sauce there. 
we've got our meatballs in there. Now we just want to take some sauce and kind of spoon it on top of the meatballs as best as we can. That looks good, I think. I think I got that. Yeah. Once you've done that, next step is we're going to cook them. So let's close up our Instant Pot, put the lid on. Always make sure your vent is to ceiling. We're going to cook this on manual for 15 minutes on high pressure. The Instant Pot's going to take probably about 10 minutes to come to pressure. It'll cook for 15 minutes and then we're going to let it do a natural pressure release, which means instead of doing that quick release where we let it out ourselves, we're going to let it naturally release, which could take anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes. So I will see you back when we've got the finished product. So our meatballs are done. It took about 17 minutes once it stopped cooking to do the natural pressure release. As you can see, this is down, which means the pressure is released. I am just going to put it to venting just to be on the safe side. So we're safe to open. Let's see how they look. Oh my goodness, look at that goodness. Can y'all see? I don't know, it's steamy. <laughs> but those look delicious. They smell delicious. So let's get this plated up. Wow, these look delicious. I just made a little simple side to go with these. I made cheesy cauliflower mash. Mashed potatoes are really good with these and that's what my mom always used to make growing up. But there we go, guys. Look at that. I think they turned out really good. So there you go, guys. There's porcupine meatballs made in the Instant Pot. It was very easy and fast. I will make this again. I hope you liked the video. I will leave the recipe down in the description box below. Let me know by leaving a comment if y'all have had porcupine meatballs or if you're going to try it. If you do try it, come back and let me know how you liked it. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video, peace, love, and expediting.